Unless you're represented on a contingent basis, legal representation is expensive very expensive. Well, here to share more on the first of its kind in the state is Lana Kleiman, Executive Director of Charleston Legal Access. It's great to have you with us. Thank and you. I have heard of law firms for nonprofits, but not a nonprofit law firm, which is what you do. Mm -hmm. So please explain what CLA is all about. Sure. So CLA, which stands for Charleston Legal Access, was started six years ago by Sally Newman. And our purpose is really to bridge the gap between legal aid and the private bar. We provide affordable and quality legal services on a sliding scale to those who do not qualify for free legal assistance, mm -hmm. yet they can't afford an attorney at private market rates. Mm -hmm. And to show you just how lucky people are here in South Carolina is the fact that there isn't even just one of these in each state. No. So we're, we're looking at fewer than 50 of these types of law firms in the entire nation. Yes, absolutely. That's incredible. What was the inspiration to start a law firm like this? Because, you know, typically you think, well, you graduate with your law degree <laughs> and whether you're you know, doing some, some pro bono, which is completely free legal mm -hmm. aid, kind of on the side, well, your bread and butter is a, a full-fledged law firm that bills quite quite heftily uh, per hour. So, exactly. so, so what was the inspiration to do this? So Sally Newman started CLA and she was a fierce advocate, passionate public interest attorney, a brilliant attor lawyer, and she saw a clear gap in our legal market. There was a void. People, mo most people don't realize that to qualify for free legal services from legal aid, you must make less than 125% of the federal poverty line. Mm. Okay, so I want you to take a family of four, all right? Imagine a family of four, and um, to qualify for free legal aid, you have to make less than $34,700. Right. Mm -hmm. Imagine raising a family of four here in Charleston no. on $35,000. Yeah. Now imagine you're faced with a legal emergency, such as an eviction or a custody dispute. And you, most families in this situation don't have disposable income to hire an attorney at private market rates. Of, Even people who are making right? twice, three times that amount really exactly. don't have the disposable income to litigate. Exactly. And so they don't qualify for free legal services because they're considered too wealthy, which mm. is comical, yet That's they crazy. can't afford a private attorney, so they're faced, you know, they're forced to face our legal system mm -hmm. on their own, yeah. which is complicated, mm -hmm. right? Sure. I went to law school to understand our legal system. Would that be in pro per? Is that the, the Latin term for it, if you're representing yourself? Pro se. Pro se. If yes. you're in pro se. Yes. And, and to have to read all the legalese and to know the dates and to have, you know, how to talk to a judge and... Understand the yeah, process. It's very difficult. Um, it's, it's complicated. So what kind of um, law, what are the areas of law that you practice at your firm? So we handle a wide range of civil matters. The bulk of the work we handle is housing and family law, but we also do some probate, including guardianship and conservatorships. And then we handle also contract, tort, um, tort claims, mm. um, especially small claims. Uh, we help uh, with issues of uh, wage theft, uh, contractor, subcontractor disputes. It's um, just a wide range and then, but the only thing we don't handle is criminal mm -hmm. and um, contingency cases, right. fee generating cases because Such as personal injury access. Exactly. Well, there's plenty of those in this <laughs> town, plenty, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you're definitely feeling quite a niche mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, and how many lawyers do you have on staff right now? So we have four lawyers, okay. and we have a staff of seven, including myself. We have grown tremendously over yeah. the last six years. What's the incentive for an attorney who's either been practicing law, fresh out of law school, mm -hmm. who just passed the bar, to join your law firm? What, what I would think that it's people be? who have the passion to help others, yeah. right? There's a lot of lawyers, I think, who go into law school wanting to do public interest work, mm -hmm. which is what we do, except there aren't, a, there aren't many opportunities. And, you know, if you are able to financially 
and have the passion and the heart, mm -hmm. you know, CLA is an amazing place to work because we have such an impact on the lives of um, our com of families in our community. So anybody who is watching this who thinks that they need your services mm -hmm. but are not sure if they qualify, all they need to do is come call you and you can assess what their needs are. Yes, absolutely. Please give us a call. We will assess and we will provide meaningful referrals. You can call us or you can find us online at www.charlestonlegalaccess.org. Perfect. Lana, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're back in two minutes.